sickness Get up, come on, get down with the sickness Open up your head and let it flow into me Get up, come on, get down with the sickness You mother, get up, come on, get down with the sickness You fucker, get up, come on, get down with the sickness Madness is the gift that has been given to me I can see inside you the sickness is rising It seems that all that was good has died Oh no, the world is a scary place Now that you've woken up the demon in me This is a quick go over of my opinion of the parachuter rig that I bought a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this isn't a recommendation. I'm not telling anybody to go out and buy one. Uh, this is just my opinion after using it probably 15 times. I'm not going to get into reloads and how quick it is and this, that, and the other. This is just a few things that I think they could have done better on. Is these closures. The bungee cords, I can already start, start to feel them fail because of the cold. Uh, as far as these custom shop goes, I haven't used many custom rigs made from these custom shops, but I think John Ammons at Unconventional Warfare probably makes the best uh, magazine closer apparatus out there. Uh, it's his own design. He came up with himself. From what I understand, some other vendors have poached his idea, but um, if you go to his site and see what he did there, Unconventional Warfare, he's got the best closers that I've ever seen on custom rigs. Um, but this bungee is bullshit, and I'm going to have to do some Bergman about that. Is These necks don't go all the way up like on the chai Con one. The chai Con one will go all the way up, and when the lid goes over, it damn near seals the entire magazine inside the cell protecting it. When I got back to the car yesterday, and I was going through everything before I loaded it up, uh, there was frost in there from my breath. And that that's just another problem, another thing that i got to keep track of. Here's a chai common. I mean, you can see it damn near seals the entire magazine in there and protects it. Is they should have wide? He should have used wider straps. And for being modern, he probably could have done a better job throwing these together because this strap will come out of there completely, like so, and then like so, and then it completely comes out. I mean, he should have taken this one and sewed it to the inside bottom one and made it self enclosed so nothing could come undone um yeah some one and a half inch or maybe even two inch straps would have been better the the mole the mole ladders he had on the side here it was only two over and three down and it really isn't many things you can hook to that um but i've done away with it almost completely it's completely off of the side and the holster's there uh, as far as the holster goes no problems with it I might do something to put a little bit more tension on this buckle so I don't have to worry about it coming undone. I mean, it never came undone, but sometimes it's in the back of my mind. And I'm also going to put a wall right here so when it folds over, it'll protect the back of this magazine. And I may even start putting a lanyard on it because snow is coming. And on this side, uh, the magazine pouch. Super Plus. I've um, only got one spare mag from Makarov. The Moore Knife, Super Plus. Used the piss out of it the other day. It was always there, right there in front of me. It weighs nearly nothing, and it's a, a pretty good quality knife. Uh, this pouch here is only held, held on by a PALS clip right there. And it's hooked to the mold, but I think I'm just going to end up pulling this off of here and sewing it directly to the panel, like I did with the holster. But uh, all in all, yeah, this is a 9. It's a good rig. It's made well. Nothing's coming apart on it yet. Um, except for the bungees on the lid. Uh, the cold is... They're going to be done by the time spring gets here. They work quick. Uh, they they didn't give me any kind of problems, but they're not going to last. If I remember correctly, he sells kits, so you can buy some more and replace these, but that's kind of bullshit. You shouldn't have to do that. Anyway, if you got any questions about this rig, just go ahead and put them in the comment section. Uh, I've, I've bought it up a few times. I've put it in a video or two already. There's not much else to say about it. Um, it's just like my homemade one that I made out of flecked iron. 